Hey everyone, okay, so you're in for a treat today. Today we're gonna to be reviewing two new products, three technically, from Charlotte Tilbury. And this, these are the two new eyeshadow palettes, which are the Hollywood Flawless Eye Filter Palettes, that's a real name, and the Mesmerizing Life Changing Dish Washing and Late Night Hugging Magical Eye Pencil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the blurb first, and then I'll give you my thoughts and show you some swatches of these palettes. So let's make a start. So the following is the blurb. You ready for this? Okay, so get your glow on. Apparently with the new Hollywood Flawless Eye Filters, these magical limited edition eyeshadow palettes are like social media features that play with the light to brighten, smooth, illuminate your eyes. This is all real and all factual. Now Charlotte has created the most flattering, finely milled eyeshadows you will ever find with soft, shimmering, light as air, metallic, modern matte textures to build intensity and just make you look gorgeous. It's the magic of Hollywood lights, the smoothing effect, the social media filters that have been bottled for this single eyeshadow palette. Palettes. <laughs> okay, so before we speak about the palettes in themselves, can we just talk about the blurb that I've just mentioned, right? So I would imagine that the average customer of Charlotte's is probably in their 30s. Now, anyone over the age of 12 is not gonna believe anything that I've just said above. No one's gonna think that these are social media filters that have been bottled and put into an eyeshadow palette. It's just absolute nonsense. And that's the, that's the thing with these palettes is that whoever is writing the descriptions for her um, line should really rethink the demographic because no one over the age of 12 is gonna believe this. And it's just absolute nonsense and just shite. And it's just, I find it irritating and distracting, if that makes sense. Why not speak about the quality of the makeup? Because that's what's important, but who knows? Who can say, right? So according to Charlotte, AKA the team behind her products, these magical textures play with light and bright and dark and shade and give the optical illusion of bigger, brighter looking eyes. Okay, so these are universally flattering shades that suit every skin tone and can be used both wet or dry. And that is actually true. From soft glitter to metallic and matte finishes. Now the luminosity booster for the multi, <laughs> I'm not even gonna, not, I can't even get it out right. The luminosity booster for a multi-dimensional glow with velvety smooth finish textures. Easy to blend and easy to build intensity. All this stuff. So you see what I mean, right? That they're all magic, all these textures, they're gonna create bigger, brighter eyes, bottled DNA of supermodels and just gorgeous people all around the world. So let's have a quick look at the palettes and we'll do some swatches as well. So the Star Aurora features shades of glittering pink, champagne and metallic blush pink, mink brown, antique brown for a dreamy, 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 soft, smoky glaze. The Diva Lights features shades of rose, um, soft glitter like a rustic rose, a rich taupe, and a black, a matte black for brighter looking smoky eyes that will mesmerize the entire world. This is not my, this is all true, right? All true. So let's look at the palettes and let's speak about them. The texture of these palettes is different and that is something to be to be grateful for. The, it's not like the original ones. These have a, like a cream texture, but they go on like a powder. They really are quite sheer and then build up the intensity. So all of that stuff is absolutely accurate. It, and it really is a great palette. Both of them are great. They do kind of err on the side of caution with pigment, and that's not a bad thing. It's, I quite like building up color and building up pigment. And this will work really, really well for that. So all kind of, you know, they did a great job. And that's why it's irritating to me because when you take away all that nonsense, you've got great, great products, right? And no one believes that nonsense, do they? Maybe you do, I don't know, I don't. But these eyeshadow palettes really do work. They can be used wet. And once they use wet, and by wet, I mean damp, right? They, they don't alter too much. So you can go back and use them dry, which is really, really great. Okay, so, are you ready for some more nonsense? Okay, so this is Charlotte's new Hollywood Exagger Eyes Liner, which is like a social media filter that exaggerates the look of your eyes, making them appear bigger, brighter, more youthful, mimicking the contrasting effects of, again, light and dark. This black and champagne, and champagne, should I say, duo liner, is basically Charlotte's eye glow filter. <laughs> okay. 
So really, you've got a black and champagne gold highlighter here, right? That's what you've got. Now listen to this, 90% of the users agree that this product, the liner, emphasizes and amplifies the intensity of their eyes, which of course is accurate because black always amplifies the eyes because it's a contrast between the white. It's part of the reason why I loved kind of really rimmed eyes. I think it looks great. Now they last up to 16 hours. Now this was tested on 20 women and after 16 hours, right? So, but what it doesn't say is, well, who were these women? What were their age groups? What were their skin types? So let's say they had really, really dry skin, right? Now that eyeliner could have lasted 78 hours, but if you put it on a very oily eyelid, it may have just lasted an hour. So without that kind of knowledge, it's a pretty pointless statement. Now these are smudge proof, waterproof, and humidity proof. And that is quite true. The liner itself is very, very good. It is pretty waterproof. It can go in the waterline and it does stay put. Now, generally speaking, I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but waterproof eyeliners generally don't actually like to be put into the waterline because they are waterproof. That's why coal liners work much better and much smoother but it does work. You do have to kind of reapply a bit, but it does work. The champagne colored shade is lovely, used for the brow bone or the inner corner of the eye or on the eyelid as a base. It's really, really, really nice. And it is a great, great product. Now at the end of the day, Charlotte makes really good products and I like more than I've, you know, I really do like the brand and I really like the person, Charlotte Tilbury. She's a very nice, very funny, very, very lovely person. My issue is just the vernacular used. I find it to be very childlike, a silly fantasy claim that can never ever be backed up. Hollywood lights, filters, bottled DNA, supermodels, darling, 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 darling. It's just nonsense. If you focus more on the quality of the ingredients, which these are, and focus on Charlotte's techniques, and it's remember it's her techniques that made her so very famous. I'd be a lot happier with the products because I'm happy with the products. I just want to see less nonsense and more technique, but that's just me. Let me know what you think. These are really great products and you should definitely check them out. Now, all the information and links to these products is in the description bar. I tend to do my reviews slightly later than other people. The reason being is because I really do like to try them out first, but let me know what your thoughts are. Again, all the links and all that is in the description bar. So just let me know. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.